Okay, feet hip width apart. Just begin by wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers, soften the knees, tuck the pelvis under. Begin to think about growing tall. So find pelvic floor, find TVA, pull in the core and then start thinking about lifting rib cage, shoulders down and back. Length at the back of the neck. Keep the, go, go back to the pelvis again, tucking in. So you've almost got this nice straight line going down from the glutes, down those hamstrings. Maybe palms facing forwards, it gets that opening on the chest. Then crown of the head. Think about that one shining up towards the ceiling. Sometimes I know, especially when we're looking down at screens, we're looking chin down. So think length at the back of the neck, but also crown of the head rising upwards. So we're going to put in pelvic floor nice and fast, and TVA, tummy button. Pull in quick and then slow release out. Pull in quick, and then slow release out. Try not to attach the breath to that, so just breathing normally, and then do that quick pull in, both of them together, or one and then the other, and then slow release. We're gonna do it 10 more times, so 10, and nine. Nice slow releases on this, eight. And seven, check you're not holding your breath. Opening with the chest, shoulders back. And six. And five. Keep the jaw nice and relaxed, maybe even smiling. Four. And three, check you're getting that TBA, that tummy button drawing up, in back towards the spine. And three. And two, keep going with these squeezes, and last one. Slow release it down to 50%, so pelvic floor's engaged still, tummy button's drawing in still, so we've got a little bit of engagement. And then just go to some circles, so go to the ankles, I'm just going to lift my foot off the floor, I don't have to bring it high like that, I'm just showing you on the screen. Just circling the foot, so just little ankle circles, for one way, for the other. So there's a little balance, and then switch sides, circling in the ankles, other way around. Keep an eye on the core, because we've taken it into a balance. Then hip circles. Again, just nice and gentle for one way, for the other. Keep this, the knees nice and soft for that. Shoulders relaxed, other way around. Then to the wrists. So just the wrists, you can shake them or circle. Just again, just warming these up. And then arms, and then just circling arms. I'm doing a really loose kind of warm-up here because we're gonna, gonna go into a bit of a flow in a minute, like a um, sun salutation flurry. So I'm just getting us kind of a little bit loose, ready for that. So four one way, four the other. And then just the neck, look to the side. We did this one last week. Round to the side, chin down to chest. So it's a very slow circle with the head. Gently, if you're going to take it back, I wouldn't take it back too far. Perhaps two one way and then two the other. Just, again, just kind of getting things a little bit loose, ready to do a bit of a um, flow. Just last one, shoulder circles. I know we just did the arm circles, but I think a little bit of a squeeze on the shoulders and a little bit of a circle is kind of useful. And then last one is the eyes. So just take the eyes to the side, like your head still. Take the eyes to the side of the room and then up. And then around to the side. Just a little exercise here and then down. So keep your head still. And then around the other way to the side. Just do it without squinting. I find this really tricky to the side. <laughs> and then down. <laughs> How often do we ever do that? Okay, so we're going to do a nice little flow and we're going to do it four times three and we'll do one just to warm up and then um, we'll do that one nice and slowly and then we'll kind of work with the breath and do it a little bit quicker as we go. So we're going to start mountain pose, palms together. So breathing in, circle the arms down and around and up, looking up to a, like a standing mountain pose, then circle the arms down and around, 
Slide your hands down, your legs down into a forward fold. Chin to chest. Breathing out slowly, uncurl. Come up to standing position. And then we're going to go into a side bend. So reach down towards the knee. Recenter and then over to the other side. Then come up to center, bend the knees, hips back in space to a squat position. Take the arms forwards, looking forwards. Then rise, arms up at a T shape, need a bit of space for a twist. <laughs> Into a twist and then over to the other side. And then we come back to mountain pose. So we're going to do that four times, it's going to be a little bit quicker. Take it at your own pace. Breathing in. Arms over the top, looking up, breathing out, forward fold. Chin to chest, pull the core in, fingertips brushing the floor. Uncurl into your side bends, hips still, again just putting that core in. Then bending the knees, hips back in space for the nice deep squat. Rising up, squeezing those glutes, T-shape into those twists. Pulling in the core. Coming back to mountain pose, ready to go again. Breathing in. Looking up, breathing out, forward fold. Vertebrae by vertebrae, uncurl. Side bends. Core's pulling in, hips are still. Press the feet down into the mat. Bending the knees, hips back in space for the squat and rise, and T-shapes, and twists. So if you can breathe out into your twist. <laughs> and back to mountain pose, three more. Breathing in, nice and tall. Tuck the pelvis under, down to your forward fold. Rising up, draw those shoulders down and back. Side bends, other side, press down into the feet. Hips back in space, take your squat position and rise for your T-shape and your twist. We like to remember it now. <laughs> it's got a little bit of flow to this one. Back to mountain pose, two more. Breathing in, pulling in that core, then going chin to chest, forward fold. Slowly uncurl, take the shoulders down and back. Now just switch sides, because you might have noticed you always went to the same side. So just see if you can get that switch for these side bends. Hips back in space, down to your squat, look forwards. Squeeze the glutes, lift, and again, swap sides. So if you can take your twist, the other side first. Pull the core in. And recentering. last one. Breathing in. Looking up. Pelvis tucked under, chin to chest. Bring it down to that forward fold, release the lower back. Slowly uncurl. Again, remember see if you can switch sides for a side bend. Hips still, pulling in the core. Hips back in space, bend the knees, shoulders over knees, take the squat and rise. Into those twists, again switch sides. Pulling in the core. And coming back to mountain pose. Nice, it's a nice little simple warm up. The next one, we're gonna do another one, so to warm up, but this one's a little bit more intense. If it's too intense, go back to that one we've just done. We're gonna do it four more times. One to warm up. So this one needs to be at the front of your mat, starting in mountain pose then. Breathing in, arm circle all the way up again, looking up, breathing out, come down to your forward fold, soften the knees. Hands down to the mat, then step back, right foot. I'll adjust my screen in a minute. Then step that left foot to a plank position. Plank position. Lower yourself down to the floor to a cobra. So lifting uh, shoulders and chest. Then lower yourself back down. And then lift up your hips to a downward dog. Step the left foot forward to a lunge. And then come back to a forward fold. Then lifting back up to your mountain pose. So it's, just, it's like a full sun salutation. Let me get the mat in my, get me down on the mat a bit better, right? Otherwise you couldn't see me in Cobra. So we're gonna go four times through. So standing at the front of the mat, 
Breathing in, up into your high tall mat pose. Breathing out, circle the arms down and around forward fold. Breathing in, step back left, right foot. Low lunge, step back left foot. Plank position, press back through the heels, pull in the core. Lower yourself down to your mat. Press down into your palms, lift up your chest, shoulders down and back, mini cobras, look forwards. Release that down, pressing all the way back up into a downward dog. Hips up and towards the ceiling, chest towards thighs, then step forward with the left foot. Low lunge, nice big stride. Bring that right foot forwards to that forward fold. Try and look back behind you and breathing in, back up to mountain pose. Three more times. Circle the arms down and around, forward fold. Stepping back with the right foot. Step back with the left to a plank position. Get those shoulders down away from ears, pulling in the core, lower yourself down. And then lifting yourself up to a mini cobra. Looking forwards, lower yourself down. Press back up into downward dog. Hips up towards the ceiling, get that stretch in the backs of the shoulders. Step forward with the left foot. Bring the right foot to follow, you're in that forward fold. Breathing in, circle the arms down and around. Back up to mountain pose. And again, just take it at your own speed now. So if you want me to go to keep talking, so forward fold, step back lunge. Plank position, coming down, lifting up to cobras, lowering back down, pressing up into downward dogs, step through, left foot, low lunge, bring that forwards back into your forward fold, and rising back up. One more and then I'll just go silent for one as well, I'll just give you a little bit of time for it. So forward folds, breathing in, set that right foot, breathing out, plank position, put in that core, lower yourself down to the floor, breathing in into your cobras, lowering that down, lifting up the hips, downward dog, step forwards with the left foot, right foot follows, forward fold, and anchor. Lifting up to that high mountain pose. Last one, should be getting kind of, kind of warm now. Breathing out, I'll let you go with this one. I'm gonna go silent, I'll do it with you. Nice, I don't know how you found that, putting a few different things together there. So, should be all nicely warmed up, come down then to the mat. Uh, I'm going to put balance a, a little bit more into the mat moves today. So, come down to the mat and come on to all fours. So, sun sanitation like what we've just done there and our warm up, kind of quite nice for, just waiting for everyone to come down. Quite nice for in the mornings. Okay, so a little bit of combination stuff here as well. So left leg, straightening that left leg. We've got neutral spine, pelvic floors engaged, TV pulled in, lifting up the left leg. And then we're just gonna take a really small circle. So use the glutes for this. Squeeze into those left glutes. Really small circle, like maybe even the size of a golf ball here, like really small and controlled. Really slowly circling, using the glutes more so than like the ankle. And then the other way around. Now if you want to add into this, right arm extend. <laughs> and then the same thing, small circles like the size of a golf ball, really controlled. And then the arm is circling as well. 
from the shoulder. So, so if you can go four one way and four the other, just these really slow circles with control and with that TVA, squeeze and pull in. Try not to hold the breath. Slowly release that down, and you need a bit of space either to the sides on the next one. Same sides, the same thing. We go with the left leg again, lift, and then the right, the, the right arm, lift, extend. And then we're going to go right out to the corners, but see if you can bring that right arm all the way to the side like we've been doing recently, and then recenter it. And then go again. So keep it lifted, and you can really start to play around with how far you take this leg round. So working with the hip, keep squeezing in the glute. And maybe you can even bring it kind of really nearly close up to the side of you. And the arm kind of out to the side like we've been doing recently with circling. One more. Working right into the corners here. Back to that extension and then release. Same side, I know this is hard because the arm's getting tired. But you're gonna go with the left leg extend, then bring it across, touch to the right of the mat, and then take it kind of over a bit of a rainbow to the left of the mat. A little bit of a rainbow, almost lifting tiny, tiny bit higher than the hips, and then touching it back down. It's very glutey. Do you feel it in your bum? Now really focus on TVA, really pulling in on TVA. See if you can just take the foot a little bit higher than the hips. Lots of control, so really slowly in here. If you really want to go and add in, but does load the left shoulder, you take the right arm and you do the same thing. You do these little rainbows. Up, over, and touch. Either side of the mat. Let's go four <laughs> and three and two. Try not to hold the breath. And last one. <laughs> and release. And we're going to go to the side. And you want, might want to shake out the wrist there on the left. So we start with the extension. So it's straightening out right leg, squeezing the right glute, pull in TVA, check your neutral spine, you're not arching in the lower back. And then we just start with the circles. So you use the glute, like the size of a golf ball, really small here, circles, legs nice and straight. Nice and slow with these circles, you don't have to hold the breath. Maybe even one breath for each circle with that. So super slow. Now if you want to add in, progress with straightening out that left arm, then bring in the circles on the left arm too. <laughs> Again, super slow. Almost like you're stirring, like, like you know when you stir a cake mixer and you want to keep the air in it when you're making a sponge. Like that's how careful and slow you, you can just stir this air. <laughs> swap, swap these circles around if you haven't, the other way around if you haven't done so already. And check you're not holding that breath. Release, check you've got space either side of the body. I have to move off my mat a little back to my wall. And then we're going to go for those ones. So work into the extension first, then Bring the arm right out to the side and then just playing around with these corners. See how far around you can bring the leg. All the time that TVA, that tummy button squeezing, pulling back towards the spine. Eye gaze to the front of the mat. That crown of the head in line with the spine. Two more. Again, maybe just playing around with how far on that leg can come. Notice if the arm is staying up level with the shoulder, so see if you can keep it up level there. Last one. Recentering. 
Then we go to the one where we bring the leg across. So straightening out that left leg, extend, squeeze the glute and squeeze TVA, pulling in, then taking it across to the left of the mat and then up and over, a little bit of a rainbow over to the right. A little bit of a rainbow, a little bit of a curve and over, lots of control. Maybe even taking one breath each time, so breathing out into that curve and touch. Breathe in as you touch, breathing out as you extend. If you want to add in, extend that left arm again, bring in some little rainbows on touches, reaches with the arm there as well. All the time working with pelvic floor, working with TVA, trying not to hold the breath. And leg nice and straight for these big curves and rainbows around. Four. And three. And two. And one. <laughs> and release. A little bit of shake on the wrist again. Or a little circle. And now you found that a little bit of glute work, strengthening the wrists as well. So lift my screen slightly. We're going to come on, stay on kneeling, but if kneeling isn't comfortable for our knees, you can do the next thing we're doing standing. So your option there. So kneeling, knees hip width, just relax the feet, so the, like, the tops of your feet are just resting on your mat. And then you're just going to let your body, your shoulders go back in space, and you feel your quads, the front of your legs, get a bit of tension and then release. So pull in the core, pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, and gently lean back. Don't take it too far because we don't want to overstretch these muscles and then we recenter. Tuck, check, check the pelvis is tucked under. Pulling in the core, shoulders relaxed. And we're going to add a little few things to this. So we're just taking that rock back, palms facing forwards, and then coming back at the centre. And just lift the arms up level with the shoulders, rock back. Look to the side, bow and arrow, and then recenter that, coming back up to center. Then the other side, rock back, look to the side, bow and arrow. So it's just a little bit of chest, and then around. So if this isn't comfortable on kneeling, you can take this standing. But it will strengthen quads, it's quite strengthening for the knees. Keep working with the core. Slowly flex in the elbow, look to the side. One more, then we're going to just switch this up a little bit. So instead of flexing the elbow, arm all the way over so it's a one arm rainbow, and just see if you can touch your heels and then bring it back up. Still working with these little rock backs. So rocking back, big circle over, and see if you can touch. So a little bit of stretching, twisting here, lower back as well. Up and over and reaching down for a touch in the heel. And then bring it back. Three more. You can just let the head move as it wants to. It doesn't have to stay forwards. It doesn't have to go to the side. I think it does help if you use your head and look to the side on that. <laughs> Last one. And releasing that at the, at the front. We're going to just little pulses now. So just looking down. So we're not, I'm not rocked back yet. So I'm just in neutral. And I've got my palms facing behind me. And I'm like when we do our 100, I'm going to pulse my arms back. So from the shoulders, like a little bit of pressure. Now put in the core. So pelvic floor and TVA in. Keep the core nice and still. And keep the tension there in the backs of the arms. The backs of the arms are pressing back into space. So four, three, two, one. Then lift the arms up over the head. Then pulse the arms over the head. One, two, pull the core in. Three and four. And then down. Now if you want, you could start to rock back a bit. So if you were happy leaning back with this, then try leaning back. Then up. Four up and then four down. Up to you if you want to put the leaning back in. Three and four. 
and left. Two, three, for that in the lower back, and down. Strengthening exercise. <laughs> Last one, <laughs> and left. Two, three, and four. And release, come all the way down on your front. I'll adjust my camera. Lie down on your front, have a little relax. So that's kind of hard, we don't do too many of them, cord exercises. <laughs> different though, nice to do something different. Looking down and just place um, your fingertip, like your fingers, palms down, just on your forehead. A bit like this. <laughs> Pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, lower body relax, breathing out, lift head and shoulders, lift elbows, we're looking down towards the floor and then lowering down. Breathing out left, breathing in lower. And you can almost imagine that your fingertips here are lifting your head. So your fingertips lifting up your head. <laughs> Then you do need a bit of space either side of the body for the next add in. So it's breathing out left, then breathing in, extend to an airplane position. And then come back for hands on forehead and lower. I'm going to do that a few times and then we'll add in again. Breathing out left as high as you can, pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, standing arms out to the side. Really reach to the sides. Bring it back in, lowering it down. Happy with this, you want to add in. Extend out to the sides, pulse. Two, three, four, come back and lower down. Breathing out left, around to the sides, reaching to the sides. One, two, three, and four, and back and lower. Last one, try not to hold the breath. Breathing out, lift, extend to the sides. One, two, three, and four. And lowering that down. We're gonna release with some with a cat stretch, so this should release your, your kneeling work too. So knees, feet, hip width, hands under shoulders, chin to chest. Tuck your tummies in, look back towards your knees. Space between the shoulder blades. Four deep breaths here. Send the breath right between those shoulders. So really send the breath to the sides of the rib cage and the top of the chest. So from that, We'll go to our planks, but just before we head into a plank, so we've got elbows underneath shoulders, relax your shoulders there, and we're just going to take a single leg stretch. So bend in one knee, and then release, and then over to the other side. So just bend, and then release, and then just working through that. And what you're going to focus on there is the hips being still. So if you're a little bit tight in the quads, you might want to bend and just hold. I'll leave that up to you how you feel. If you feel like you can get your hips still and you want to work with the movement, you can just work here, bend and release, hips still. Think about now pulling in pelvic floor, pulling in TVA into these bends and release. And you can always work a little bit faster, so you can go one and two and three and maybe pulse on the number three, and it's one, and two, and three, one, and two. So just a little play around sometimes with a bit of flow. And also depends on kind of how, like how your knees are feeling with this one too, but it is a good knee quad exercise. <laughs> As you pulse, just be aware what happens there in the lower back. Try and keep the lower back still, use the core. Last one. Two. And pulse. 
Okay, so we'll go to um, we'll go to our planks. So pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, lift up the hips, hover. So I'm gonna just leave the knees down for a second with this. Tuck the pelvis under. Big squeeze on TVA. Shoulders down away from ears. Crown of the head in line with the spine. Eye gaze to the front of the mat. And the progression today is a bicep curl. So bicep curl, as in flex your biceps, like we're down in the pub. So if you can get your elbow pointing up towards the ceiling and then recenter, over to the other side. Flex your bicep, elbow up to the ceiling, and recenter. So option if you want, put in the straight legs. Flex the bicep and take it as a full plank position. Pushing back to those heels, pulling in the core. Flex the bicep and then recenter. <laughs> Breathing out into those lifts, those flexings. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Last one. Then lowering one knee down, lower the, lowering the other knee down. And then we're going to release actually with a child's pose. Because I've got lots of other material I want to have a go with, with the core. So sit back to your heels, elbows off the mat, forehead down to the mat. Maybe a little wiggle side to side. Taking deep breaths then. Imagine that ball of light starts at the tailbone. And as you breathe in, you just send it up the spine all the way to that third eye. As you breathe out, it either blankets over you, you send it out to the universe, or maybe you send it back down into the earth. However you like to send your energy. Whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do with it. Four deep breaths. And then from there, we're going to go on our sides. Check the time. Okay. So we're going to go for a, a clam. And you can go for our normal clam lying on the floor. Or we're going to go for a little bit of a different option. Elbow down for a, a little bit of a side plank. Lifting up the hips. Elbow under shoulder. Pelvic floor TV has got to be in straight away for these plank positions. And then basically, we're going to just lift top knee. And lower so it's an elevated plank position lift top knee and lower but obviously we've got the side plank we've got the obliques working as well you can lift that up and lift the bottom knee as well option there if you want to take it a lot harder and we're going to go for four and then for a big start leg extension so working with this elevated clam you're going to feel it on the bottom the bottom leg as well on number four, extend that leg and into like a big star. And then bring it down two more times. Four clams. Try not to let the head drop too much, it will want to. And then extend, big squeeze. And then release. Four clams. Get the same kind of feeling you should get it on the glute meat around the side and the back. Keep working, keep pulling in the core because we're up on a side plank. And extend, big squeeze. Lots of glute work today. And then we'll release that down, have a little rest. Stay elevated up on this, uh, this elbow, so this is kind of a little bit of shoulder stability work today. And then legs out straight. Pull in the core. So we're gonna go for double leg lift from this position, but it's not gonna be very high. It's not like a normal double leg lift. So literally, I've lifted my, you can't even see, literally lift the feet off the mat. Maybe the knees stay on the mat, the feet lift. You get a little bit of engagement up to the glutes. That's how much the lift's gonna be. Very small, very slight. Pulling core. Then lower that down. 
and then spin and see if you can lift and touch the touch the ankles. So it's that twisting motion. So it's a bit of flow in this today. Lower it back down to that lifting position. And all it is, the feet are lifted. Like the you know, that's all it is, very small lift. Then you can add in a balance, arm up towards the ceiling, squeezing into those glutes, then release a little bit, sink a little bit, and then lift. So I was working with those teasers, bring it down, lifting up those feet and extending the arm for a bit of a balance. Keep working pelvic floor TVA, then lift. Now challenge if you want it. In this position, this uh, half tilted teaser on the side, scissors, straightening one leg and then switch. <laughs> Got some people going, what is she doing? <laughs> so perhaps four of them, then come back into your elevated double leg lift, so just feet elevated, pulling in that core, then sink, lift, then four scissors. Lots of control for this, working on some funny angles too. And then lower, almost like a spin and a lift, pulling in on that pelvic floor last time, up on a bit of a, you're almost working with corners here, then scissoring, <laughs> and then release, over we go over to the other side, <laughs> a little bit tricky I know, it's the last one of the month though, trying to come tie together a few little bits and bobs. Clams to start with, you've always got the option of being down on the floor like we normally do. Otherwise, side plank it, elbow under shoulder, pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, bending at the knees slightly here, and then lift and lower, top knee. Lift and lower. Think about the head here, so try and keep it in line with the spine, that crown of the head. Starting to focus here on glute me, getting it around the outside. So four, three, and two, one. Ready to extend a bit of a squeeze, star position, and then bring it back and in two more times. Four, and three, and two, and one. Try not to let those hips drop because this side plank position is hard. Extend, squeeze. Last time, four lifts. Keep thinking about hips lifting as high as they can. Core being pulled in. Shoulders staying strong. Lift and extend. Big star, big squeeze. And then release. Stay lifted if you can. Otherwise, bring it down like you normally do. Elbow into shoulder, straighten out the legs. Into a double leg lift, pull in pelvic floor. Doesn't have to be high, literally just lifting up those feet to get all of that down around the side and the back. All of that lifted. And then you could take in, put in that balance arm lifted. And then we can release it all back down. We'll do that a couple of times. So just lift, literally lifting up the feet, a little bit of a hover, pulling in that core and extend. Try to look forward, try not to look down at the feet and release. One more, then we'll bring in some little twists. So lift, extend, try and open out the chest there, lift up the chest, uh, <clears throat> and release. Ready, so lift up the feet, extending the arm, bringing in that twist, a little bit of a sink, putting in the core, take a little bit of an angle, so if you can go towards the ankles, then if you want straight away, you can put in your scissors. Four scissors. Legs nice and straight, then lower it down, spin it back around, lift up the feet, reach that hand up towards the ceiling, and then release, we'll go again. And then lift, scissoring there if you want it, or maybe you just want to hold, pushing at the back of the knee for a hamstring stretch, and then spinning it, get that lift on the chest, and extend, pulling in the core, 
Last one. Bit of an angle here. <clears throat> Scissors. Breathing out. Lowering that down. Last little bit of a lift. Chest lifting, put in pelvic floor. And then release it all back down. Brilliant, some new stuff there. <laughs> okay, lying on your backs. Going to go into our normal kind of thing with the core, but I've changed the set slightly. So we're going to go for 10 toe taps instead of eight. Uh, no, yeah, 10 toe taps, 10 pulses, and then a 10 second hold. That was it. <laughs> but I'm also going to put in a challenge. So shoulders relaxed, get yourself in neutral spine, a bit of a pelvic tilt. Pull in pelvic floor, pull in TVA, just notice feet, knees, hip width apart. Perhaps walk the feet a little bit closer to the end of the mat. Let's all start in this beginner's layer because I'm going to play around with what you can do in that layer. So lift one leg to tabletop, maybe hands on hips, and then lower. So that's 10. And then 9, 8, keeping awareness now of that lower back, 7. We're not tilting side to side, 6. And five, shoulders are relaxed. Three, and two, and one. Now hold, one leg lifted, then go into pulsing. So slightly different, one leg lifted. Five, four, three, two, one, switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll go into our reach. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we'll release. So that's what you can play around with is on your pulsing is just to put one leg down. So it's a little bit different. So if you want to progress, table tops, palms up, shoulders relaxed, ready to go. Ten, nine, eight, and seven, six. Notice how you're flowing through this, almost like running. Four three, and two, and one, five, four, three, two, one, and switch, five, four, three, two, one, string those legs and reach, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release, ready to go again, really focus TVA pelvic floor, and ten, Nine, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Five, four, three, two, and one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one, and straighten those legs, ribs to hips, and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, release. Ready to go? Pull in TVA, pull in pelvic floor. And um, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. And five, four, three, two, and one. Straightening those legs. Reach ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. How's everyone going with this? One more time. Ready to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And pulse. Five. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Reach last time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Full body stretch. I did lose count. I can't remember if we did four or five. I think it was enough for now. We'll build into that next next month, perhaps. Squeezing everything, so just really squeeze 
shoulders up towards your ears. Let's pull the tummies in, squeeze glutes. Point the toes so you get the calf muscles, get a nice little bit of a stretch. Big deep breath in. And then we're gonna slowly release, bend the knees. S similar thing to what we normally do with a heel side. So feet, knee, uh, knees, hip width apart, slide one heel away, hands on hips, and then bring it back up to center, breathing out as you slide. Try and get your shoulders relaxed. And then we're gonna add in straight away. So palms together up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to bring that whole thing across, the head, shoulders, all the way across to the bent knee. And then lowering back down, shoulders get like replanted, flat down, lift. Now we're going to make this a little bit more tricky by going one and two, normal. And then every third one, it's going to be lift and then and repeat, lift. And then you go back into it. So it's one and two. And then three, you've got to do that extra one on the same side. It's like a little bit tiring. If you want to progress, you can take it to that tabletop position. Bringing that across again to that bent knee. You can move a little bit faster if you want. Still work with that. So if you can control it and put in two every third repetition. So it's lift and lift and then double it. Just brings in that little bit of extra concentration and control. Breathing out as you extend. Try and look with the eye gazing with this as well. Lifting the shoulders. Last time. Keep thinking pelvic floor, keep thinking TVA. And release. So we'll take a double leg stretch, so hug knees into chest. And maybe this is enough, right? So holding and just hugging here, release lower back. But adding in, arms up towards the ceiling. And just we're gonna alternate, lifting, I mean not lifting, one arm over the head and then back up to this position. And I'm just gonna keep my knees bent as if I was like gonna hug them. Just alternate, keep the shoulder blades pressing down into the mat. So just a nice little stretch. So if you can do this and pull in the core and try not to let the shoulders tilt or twist. Two more and then we'll go into doubles. Breathing out as you extend. And then arms both over the head. Notice what happens with the rib cage as if you can really knit the ribs together there. And then if you want to, you can add in legs extension, double leg stretch. Thinking about that nice imprint with the lower back, squeezing and pulling in TBA, shoulder blades down. Four more, whichever one you did, maybe you just liked the, alternate, the alternating arms, maybe you liked the double arm, maybe you liked the double leg. Breathe out into the extension. Last one. Then you need a bit of space either side of you in the mat for this next one. Hug knees into chest, then open out to a T-shape with the arms and then let the knees drop across. And maybe they don't touch, maybe they do, depends what you feel like, if you feel like stretching. Then hug in the middle, then open out and then take it across the other side. So it's that spine stretch, but we're just bringing in a little bit more movement here. So hugging in the middle, Control it, so pulling in the core. Don't let yourself flop across. Keep the control and the precision. Hugging in the middle. And then maybe you wanted to add in straightening out the legs to the corners. Still what we did, little hugs in the middle, breathe in. Breathe out, open. 
hugging in the middle, take it across, and then open, hugging in the middle, two more, whichever one that you've chosen. Nice little stretch there. If you're doing the leg extensions, the hamstrings get a good release. Chest definitely gets a stretch. Okay. Bring the feet a little bit closer to your bum. We're gonna to go to our shoulder bridge. Knees, feet, hip width apart, and just take a pelvic tilt. So pulling in pelvic floor, pressing and pulling in TVA. Almost like a massage here for the lower back. Shoulders super relaxed, length of the back of the neck. <clears throat> Progressing, adding in if you want. Begin to lift up the hips. Bring the arms up over the head, chin to chest. <clears throat> and then just bring the arms cross act or cross your arms at the front. Like cross act arms, just holding the opposite elbow. And then really press into the glutes and lift up your hips. This is progressing now, straightening one leg. Hold for 10 seconds. Really think about squeezing the glutes on both sides, both legs here, squeeze, even the leg extended. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go into a lift. So lift the leg up towards the ceiling and then lower. Lift and lower. Now if you wanna work a little bit more with calf muscles, the leg that's, the foot that's on the mat, take it to a toe, so take it to point. So if you want to work with calf muscles, we haven't done calf raising in our warm up. Going up to a point here. Lift the leg and then extend. One more. Then slowly lower the, the heel down, lower the hips down with one leg extended and then lifting back up. Just four of these, lowering down, lower your shoulder bridge down, Lift and press up through the glutes, lifting up the hips. Lowering it back down. And lift. Try and keep the hips still, don't let them tilt. And lower. Last one. And lift. And then lowering down. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So lower yourself down. Pelvic tilt. Lift up hips, squeeze glutes, arms up and over. Touch behind the head. Chin, <clears throat> chin into chest. Then cross up your arms, switch it over. Switch which arm is on the front, on the top. Then extend, we're gonna hold for 10 seconds, squeeze both glutes, hip still. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then if you did your, toe, your, your toes on point for your calf muscles, same thing, this side. Then working with your leg, lift and lower. Hips nice and still here. Really focusing, pulling in pelvic floor. Squeezing those glutes. Try not to hold the breath. Four more. Lots of control. Last one. Lower the heel down, keep the leg lifted, then bring the hips all the way down. And then squeezing the glutes, lifting back up. And you do that four times. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, lower. Press up through the glutes, lift. Two more. And lower. And lift. Nice glute activation move, this one. Lowering like snowflakes. And lift. And then we'll bring everything all the way down. Hug knees into chest. <laughs> a little bit of a release. If you can rock yourself up to a seated position. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Oh, I'm good for time. I'm going to switch myself around. So I've got a little challenge here in the rollback. So it we need to be at the front of the mat because we're rolling back. If you're not happy with rolling back, then just C-shape, look the lower, lower back down, lift up chest, shoulders back. So it's just that massage for the whole of the spine. If you're happy to roll back, take yourself to a hover, hold onto your shins, C-shape the spine, curling up like a little ball, 
rocking back, see if you can get vertebrae by vertebrae down, come back to your hover. So try not to let the feet touch and then going again, rock back and back into hover. Challenge if you want it, so rock back, then one knee bends to the side and one knee up and then you can come up to like a like a crouching tiger position and then lower it back down. And then you can just switch that all the way around. You can use your hands with that as well. <laughs> Rock back. Or maybe you don't use your hands. <laughs> so that's where the challenges come in. <laughs> so it's just rocking back and then coming into like a very low squat. Watch in there with that knee to the side, that position helps you to get up. If you go for a full on squat, it's quite hard. <laughs> That's a lot harder. <laughs> Depends what challenge you want to take, what you need. <laughs> Just take it so the foot goes down. One more. Just watching you have a go at that. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we're going to go just play around again with a little bit of the roll down, tweezer, teaser, half teaser stuff. So same thing, just go with your toes down and then just extend. We did this one last week and just take a hamstring stretch. I think it's good to repeat this. Everyone looked a little bit tight in this one last week, so we'll have another go. And then just bend and then switch legs. So just take it almost like a hamstring stretch, like when we're lying on our backs. You can point toes, extend, back of the knee, straighten that leg like a hamstring stretch. Breathing out as you extend. Two more, and then we're gonna use these hamstrings in something. Do it before we roll down, and then we're nearly, and then I will start tying up, I promise. <laughs> really straighten the legs. Flex the feet here, so straight away hamstrings engaged. Breathing in, then reach the arms up. Breathing out, circle the arms down and around, just halfway, like you're coming down into a bubble bath. Breathing in, lift. Then we're gonna go hands down, and just push the chest and the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together, engage the triceps, and just get that really nice stretch there on the chest. Then we can just start to release ourselves down into that little scoop, that halfway down. Then coming back up, same thing, pressing down, like you're going to do a tricep dip, but we're not actually moving, we're just doing a stretch. And then we're coming down, if you want, all the way down. Full body stretch it, circle the arms down and around, come back up to that nice heart stretch, almost like think about opening the heart. And then just falling down, vertebrae by vertebrae, rising back up, extend, push down with the arms, lifting up the chest, two more, and then slowly lowering down, surrendering, coming back up. Opening the heart, last one. Let no resistance, bring yourself down. <laughs> Hands down towards knees, pull in that core. Push down, lift up the heart. And release. I'm gonna finish this with a stretch, so soles of the feet together. Just holding onto the soles of the feet, just allow, as a butterfly stretch, just allow the knees to drop to the sides. We did a little bit of hip work earlier with our clowns and things like that. I think this is a nice little stretch to do. And you can always take it like a turtle as well, so like when we do the seal, you play, place your hands, you tuck them under, you hold onto your feet, and then you can just let your head drop. So you can let gravity, just let everything drop. Chin to chest, shoulders can super relax.
and then just take a couple of breaths there and it's almost again like the idea of just surrendering for a moment just letting whatever was going to be just to be couple of breaths And then bring yourself up, palms together, namaste.